Hi and a warm welcome to today's Daily Scripture. Uh, we're looking at readings today for meditation. Ephesians 4, 1 to 13. And we're talking about the unity of the Spirit. Verse 3 says, Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Today's reading is taken from the New International Version. Unity and maturity in the body of Christ. As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep up the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But to each one of us grace has been given, as Christ apportioned it. This is why it says, When he ascended on high, he took many captives, and gave gifts to his people. What does ascended mean except that also he descended to the lower earthly regions? He who descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens, in order to fill the whole universe. So Christ himself gave the apostles, prophets, evangelists and pastors and teachers to equip his people for works of service, so that the body of Christ may be built up until we reach that unity in faith and knowledge of the Son of God, and become mature, attaining the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. The final event in the timetable of premillennialism is as follows. Once Christ returns to Jerusalem, he will re-establish the temple worship, and from there, with his saints, he will rule and reign over the earth for a thousand years. After the thousand-year reign has ended, Satan, who in the meantime has been bound, is loosed again and will be permitted to stir up rebellion against God. He and his demons will be cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. This will be followed by the resurrection and judgment of the wicked, after which comes the final eternal state. Christians may not agree over the details of Christ's return, but we still meet and work together in overriding unity of the Spirit. My guess is that we've all got different views about the return of Christ, um, but with those thoughts in mind, I'm just going to close in prayer. Thank you that even if we cannot achieve unanimity of thought, we can still experience the unity of the Spirit. Amen.